And we're back. And I keep starting in this room because I keep doing stupid crap. But you know what? This actually works out because I don't remember where I was going to go. <laughs> um, okay, we're in the room at the left. So down and over to the right. All right, sounds good to me. That sounds like a really good thing to do. Also, I don't... It also shows pickups on the map, and I never remember... Okay. Oh, right. Dialogue. Okay, well, that's a bit disappointing. Suggested we call it the lantern but canary. Um... Never did finish it, though. Let's see here. Oh, there's a ladder up. I keep forgetting there are multiple floors to this. There's also not, like, a map or anything. So I don't know if this is the floor I'm... Yeah, this is probably different stuff. We'll see this. We will see it later, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's actually get to where we're, we're trying to be, though. I think it's probably best, uh, given last episode, that I stick to one... Oh, I know how this is going to go. You have to do the shorter one first, right? Well, let's just test that to make sure. Yep. Okay. Well, it's nice to know that I was right. But, I mean, this is going to be wacky just because you can't... Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Maybe we won't stick to one anchor per episode then. <laughs> um, yeah, let's find another one. Like, it's cool and all that that's here, but, uh, I mean, I guess, okay, that lights off. And there were four, I think, right? There were four anchors in here? Never mind, that's just, the lights are off. They're, they're, um, you know, aesthetic. This is also interesting. Oh, okay, there's a directional aspect. I feel like that just makes the puzzle easier. Yeah, that, I'm not going to lie. That kind of makes it easier to do. <laughs> you're, you're taking the sequencing aspect out of it. I don't actually have to think too hard about... Um... Well, actually, no. It, it makes it easier to handle topologically. Because I can... Oh, you know what? Maybe not. Well, kind of. I can still do the same kind of tricks. But I have to... Um... You know what? This is a little interesting. I think I might have to do something like this. And then... Okay, yeah, that works. So, yeah, the sequence... Taking away the sequencing aspect of this game makes this a whole lot, heck of a lot easier from a topological standpoint. Um, topology is... Oh boy, I'm gonna butcher the definition of topology if I actually try it. Uh, I want to say it's working out how uh, things are. Uh, ma it's it's mapping. It's mapping. That's the only way I can really describe it. <laughs> um, wish I could do more for you guys, but I'm not good at properly defining it. How can I go about doing this? Um, I still feel like this is a good start, but maybe not, like, I try something like this, but then it's still, okay, never mind, I can get through there. Well, so much for this being easier, because I don't have to worry about sequence. This is like an actual honest-to-god circuit. And I hate solving circuits. Ask any mechanical engineer what their favorite thing to do is, and a sum total of zero of them will say, oh, I love solving circuits. Um, <laughs> that's not that bad. Um, except it is, actually. Uh, I feel like I have to double wrap one of these. Or maybe I'm... No, I was being stupid. Alright, cool. It's nice to know that it always... Well, that didn't help me, did it? Yes, it did. Almost. Yes, it did. 
Okay, cool. I'm glad I can get out through there, because otherwise I, I'm not sure how I would have solved that. Alright, here's going to be another wacky one, huh? I'm thinking we start like this. Now what? Ooh, this could be interesting. I also like that they're, uh... Ooh, ooh, that's... That's gonna be wacky. I feel like I have to do something like this. You'll maybe see why... Okay, yeah, this should work out. Nice. I like that they're, they're uh, keeping the non-sequenced ones in. Oh, there's a way to get down there? What, is there a staircase somewhere that I missed? Huh? I get the feeling I missed a staircase somewhere. Hey, Rouge, or whatever the hell your name is, uh, tell me how to get down to the bottom floor here. Here it is, okay. It's dark in here, and my screen is dark, because that's how I like him. I mean, that's how I like it. That's, anyways. Whatever. It, 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 I don't feel like it's been long enough to uh, justify a full episode, so let's, you know, keep going. They're keeping the normal pillars in, is what I was talking about, so that that also detracts from any kind of, uh, Oh, this game is easier now because of the mapping. The mapping problem is solved. Uh, that's out the window. <laughs> I think something like... Oh, well, never mind. Ooh. This is a conundrum. I gotta think about if I can get out... Okay, I can. I was thinking about if I can get out after doing something like this. But actually, that's not beneficial. Because I can't... I don't, I don't have anything to wrap around. So maybe I go straight into that? But then I don't contact this one. Well... Maybe I just completely reset this then. Start over here instead. That seems to work out pretty well. But who knows if that's actually the case. Because I do still have to get around and out. I am giving myself an out here. Yeah, I am. Okay. That's, that's one of the tighter solutions. I actually quite like that. But, boy is it... Is it interesting? I think the middling difficulties are my favorite because I don't, um, I'm not forced to shoot. Um, like you can just kind of work it out, but it's not the, it's not like the easiest thing you've ever done. Um, I don't have a problem with ease, by all means. Make it easy for me, but... <laughs> uh, it's, uh... It's not, not my least favorite thing. <laughs> to, uh, have a bit of difficulty with these. Now, this is a conundrum. I'm not quite sure how... Hold on. Okay, I'm thinking something really weird, and I don't think it's going to work out, but I'm... I, I don't... I, I, again, don't really have the words to describe what I'm thinking of here. So... Let's see if I can just do it, and then have it work out without too much effort. I don't actually remember what I was going to do. Crap. See, it would be... It'd be fine if it didn't happen like this more often than not. I think it was something like that that I was thinking of, but that, I don't know that that even helps me. Right, because I was, I have to go back on the outside. What was I doing this for? Good question. Um, yeah, I boxed myself off unintentionally, but I get, I, I get the feeling that that kind of premise has some merit to it. I think if I go on along the outside instead, that that's what it was. I go along the inside here. I don't know if I have enough space to get around that pillar in the middle here, but for now I'm just gonna 
kind of work with this solution. And then, no, I don't have the space for it. Uh, that's kind of disappointing, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, I can, I can sequence that in, though. I can, uh, let's see, can I? No, I don't think I can sequence that in. I think let's go back to here, see if I can, well, no. The problem with the L shapes is that there isn't, there isn't a good way to, like, go back and get one of the corners if you don't wrap around the whole thing. So maybe I even just go all the way back here and go backwards, but then I put myself in another box. Well, isn't that something? Isn't that nice? That works out. That works out in an interesting way. So maybe if I try and workshop this a little bit, where I go like that. Is there? Oh, right. Uh, ooh, the uh, topper, top pillar of the L piece on the right feeds into this one that I'm looking at. And I also don't. Do I not have a? No, oh, I kind of have a good way to get back around there. I can, for one, just go around this like this. This is. This seems to be a test of how much I can like loop around to lock I'm gonna leave those pillars there just because I can always wrap around them later yeah I am hell you know what just just for the sake of sequencing I'll, I'll grab them now just because this this works I don't know if this is the intended solution but it works <laughs> that's what I mean about the middling puzzles not that they're middling in quality but that they're middling in difficulty no, this just looks like a lot of pillars. <laughs> we shall see about that assessment. What was I trying to do? Oh boy, I'm not gonna lie, I completely... I've completely blanked on what my proposed solution was even going to look like. So there's probably something like this and then I go back around and somehow sneak in here even though it's obviously blocked off that's that's a lot more complete than I would have expected given the, the sequencing blocks oh no well how about I just come back and get no I don't think I can afford to do that though because if I if I miss out on this block right here would I be able to get that afterwards let's Let's try it out, actually. Because if I do this, then I go around here, then that turns that on, and I can do something like that. And that gets everything in the middle. Yes, it does. So that means that I can also come back around here and get that. It is that. Okay. It doesn't fill this bottom pillar yet, but we can get it on the next pass. Because I just come back down around and get, pick this up. It's looping around. Looping and locking, my friends. It's the name of the game right here. And I probably could have just picked up these. I should have picked up these. Oh, no. You're really going to do that to me right here. I should have picked them up earlier in the sequence. I was thinking about it. I'll tell you exactly when I thought about it. Right here is when I thought about it. And I should have just done it then because... That's exactly what I needed to do. And bada bing bada boom, we have a fully functioning solution. I've been doing this for two. I, I really gotta, re I, I, I know I said it at the start. I was like, oh, you know, maybe we can do two anchors per episode. And now I feel like an idiot. Ah, uh, this seems to have some degree of merit. Oh, no. Maybe not. See, my, my deal with it is that I have to... I have to come in uh, and kind of loop around the back of these C-looking pieces. 
Oh no, I didn't give myself any way of connecting that up. And I don't think that I can until I've gotten that one. Ooh. Yeah, that's tricky. That's, that is tricky. You know what I can do though? I can remove this pillar right here from the sequence and put it in later. I want to say things like sequence way too often in this series, and you know what? That's perfectly fine by me. <laughs> uh, well, hold on. That contacts, right? Okay, yes it does. So I can do something like this. Oh, right. No, 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 no. This still works out. So I can do that. And then, boom. Very, very nice. I gotta remember to actually, like, kind of show the room after I do what I wanted to. Oh, this is hellish. There's a pillar right here that I can't turn on yet, and I have to keep this whole T block on. Well, that, that kind of helps me, I guess. I only have really two starting points between these two pillars at the corners right here. But it's still uh, a bit more restrictive than I would have enjoyed, I guess. And I get the feeling, no, that looks like it'll leave me enough room, probably. So, oh no, where, what am I missing? Oh, okay. This still feels like it could be right. That's not gonna work, unfortunately. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm gonna have to really kind of work out in my head how I can order this. I still feel like it's working out. Oh no, it was so close. We were very close. That works though. Uh, we're still close, in fact, so close, in fact, that it's actually working out. So I can do something. Oh no, we were so close. <laughs> we were, in fact, very close. <laughs> Dang. Oh no. Well, I can still do something like this. That, no, I can't. Dang, 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 dang. We really... We really got close with it. Okay. That's alright, we can just unwind this for now. And go back to figuring out the sequencing. That works, I want to say, because I can still... Like, I can still come back and get this one. Let's make sure of that. Okay, I can. Good. Um, and I almost feel like that's kind of part of a solution. The one that turns this on so I can get it. No, I can't. Wonderful, I didn't actually check effectively. It's super cool. If I had started on the other side though, that might work. So let's go all the way back start on the right then what was it that I did something like this great I still don't fit well does that matter because I can do this as long as I still connect in there then that'll turn on the one on the side this one right here and that's good. Am I giving myself enough space to come back around the T once I get that done, though? No, no, I think I've already screwed up, because I won't be able to get, um, hold on. I won't be able to get to this one without contacting the top of the T. Or otherwise contacting the bottom of the T, which is still one that I can't touch before the other one. Well, in that case... Oh, jeez. Hold on. Did the game just bug out and get me stuck in the wall? Am I gonna have to actually... Oh, no, I had to leave the... Oh, never mind, that's the reset button. I thought I'd be like, oh, no, I had to leave the anchor. I guess I'm gonna have to end the episode. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, because everybody would just hate it if I had to end an episode. Uh, you know, because people really love these. But... Um, uh, what was I thinking? Oh, now I can get through here, huh? Sure, pal. That makes
makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. Now I can do something like this. I gotta say, that... That worked a whole heck of a lot better than I thought it was gonna. So, I'm gonna work with that for now. And... Let's see just how far I can take it. This is about as far as I can take it, it looks like. Because I feel like I'm gonna end up... Or maybe not. What was I thinking I was gonna do? I, uh, I had thought I was going to end up boxing myself off, but no, I guess that is actually a functioning solution. And this isn't a god-awful long episode. I mean, it still is, don't get me wrong, but, um, you know. You know what, I think, uh, we're going to worry about inputting those, um, in an actual lore episode. We'll just have a fun computer episode, and, uh, it's just gonna, it's gonna be a really good time. See, every episode for me is a computer episode, because I'm sitting at a computer, and you're probably also sitting at a computer, unless for some reason you're really screencasting the Bolt Blaze YouTube channel to a TV, in which case, <laughs> uh, I've sure risen to prominence sometime in the far future, huh? Anyways, we'll worry about that in the far future. And on the next episode of Bolt Blaze, of Filament on the Bolt Blaze channel of Filament, the next episode of the Filament game. I broke my watch strap, so I took the watch, the springs, the spring pins out, and I put it on a lanyard, and now I'm wearing my watch around my neck, which is really stupid, but I thought it looked funny. I just wanted to put that in there at the end. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, or your watch strap's going to break. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.